bacteria transmitted by flea, bi flea bites or coming into direct death due to a case. If you don't know about Xfinity Mobile, well, now you do. It's the fastest mobile service around with the best price for two lines of unlimited, only 30 bucks a line per month. That's hundreds in savings a year when you wave bye to the other guys. All on the most reliable 5G network nationwide. You really shouldn't walk out the front door without it. Switch today at XfinityMobile.com. The Colorado Department of Public Health has confirmed a death due to a case of plague. It happened in Archuleta County, which sits close to the New Mexico state line. Plague is caused by a bacteria transmitted by flea bites or coming into direct contact with an infected animal. Officials say the disease is still rare, but if you notice a high fever and or swollen lymph nodes, get to the hospital immediately. If caught early, the disease is treatable. The master craftsman of urban. Hey, Shalom, my camera, Shalom. Uh, first thing and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor is due to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Um, I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone and Ruel. Peace and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. Those in the gospel of Allah, from the standard of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever they may be. Uh, this is a quick lesson through the Spirit. Uh, Lord, it's to be edifying. It's an updated prophecy. Um, it says a recent death in Arculeta County has been tied to the plague, which they called it uh, Eurasina Pettis, according to San Juan Bays in Public Health. The Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment is also helping to investigate the case. All right. Um, it says humans can get plague from bacteria transmitted infected fleas or direct contact with infected animals. Plagues often found in squirrels, chipmunks, prairie dogs. It says San Juan Bays in Public Health uh, it says, asks residents not to kill prairie dogs as doing so can increase the risk of exposure to the plague. It says plagues in humans can be treated. Swollen lip nodes include sudden high fever and swollen lip nodes. It says symptoms include sudden high fever and swollen lip nodes according to the San Juan Bays in Public Health which provides these tips to stay safe. Which they give you a wear repellent and appropriate clothing uh, when heading outdoors and it says here keep pets up to date with such and such away from wildlife and protected from fleas with veterinary and approved topical medications flea collars or other methods of prevention avoid sleeting alongside your pets and do not feed or handle wild animals especially those that appear sick as you see that these plagues and pestilence are hitting the earth at an all-time high now i remember uh, a couple of years ago your, your, your so-called beloved Bill Gates, Kill Gates, have released, I believe, like over a, a million or something genetically modified mosquitoes. I believe that he released an authorized use for them to be released in Florida, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, basically mosquitoes, man. Okay, genetically modified, meaning that they're creating uh, bugs and hybrids out of thin air, out of laboratory purposes, man. You know what I'm saying? And don't get it twisted. Like, there's been an influx of gnats biting flies biting midges <clears throat> like fucking mosquitoes and you can't really seem to get rid of these things man why because these are the plagues that you how about shimmy how shy has warned us about man and he's using a so-called white man to conjure up these particular uh, atrocities because i don't know about you brothers man but it's these things we call them they call them punky sign flies or uh biting midges okay biting midges or no seams which is basically a form of a gnat and they bite okay they bite <laughs> and they're very relentless okay I, I like i've been noticing these things in my apartment for like since 2019 when i lived at the other place because you know the buildings are old the sewer systems are old and basically they're attracted to like to water or plant-based source <clears throat> and oftentimes blood but um notice older cities with with older pipes a lot of times they attract a lot of blood a lot of bugs and flies and etc because for the simple fact the pipes are corroded, so they lay larvae or eggs in these particular pipes, which leads to the multiplying, man, okay? And I know that from experience because I haven't been able to get rid of them. 
um, first account of these particular bugs I noticed was um, when I, I, I needed them to do maintenance on a pipe underneath the sink because it was corroded. And when they came and knocked down the wall, all these particular bugs, they just literally, they was hiding in the drains and behind the walls, like where the soil and where the moist, like moist shit is at. And ever since then, it's like I couldn't get rid of them. It's like they follow you because what happens is with these particular bugs, almost like mosquitoes, what happened is when they bite you, they make like an enzyme, they put like an enzyme in your blood. And basically it's like a tracking device almost. As weird as it sound, it's like literally they can track you based on your CO or your oxygen levels or basically what they smell, your sweetness and blood. You know what I'm saying? They can follow you that way or it sends out a signal to the rest of the, the uh, their larvae that basically this is a meal, okay? And we gotta come feed on it. So no matter where you go, these things seems to pop out of thin air. And really it is because of the systems and the pipes are corroded under Babylon. You know, it's not like it's gonna follow you from one house, but nine times out of 10, you get bit one, bit by one, you're gonna continue to get bit because it's like a, a enzyme they put in your blood. And then it's like, it's like almost like a sweet savor to them. So they lock on you and then they attack you from that point. Just pests, which shows you that the so-called white man is the harbor of death. Okay, because who in the hell wants to get bit their whole life by bugs, man? You know what I'm saying? Who in the hell wants to be bit? Who in the hell wants to get, get constantly harassed by fucking bugs? You know, like back in the day, you used to see dragonflies, you used to see uh, praying mantis, you used to see butterflies, man. Bumblebees. You know, but now you don't really see bumblebees, man. And if you do, they're dying off. But yet you have an influx of gnats, influx of biting midges, influx of mosquitoes. Everything that's really not conducive to the ecosystem because it's out of balance. And that's what Esau Edom do, man. Okay, which shows you that we're in the end. And it reads here. It says, prevent road infestations around your house by clearing plants and materials away uh, from outside walls, reducing access to food items and setting traps. Treat known rodent sites around your homes with flea powder or suitable insecticide. And see a physician if you become ill with high fever and swollen lip nose. Plague is treatable is a plague as a treatable illness. Yeah, if you catch it in time. But see, this is the double whammy. Though it is treatable, you know what I'm saying? Though it is uh, 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 set up to be treated, but what are they putting in you to treat this shit? You know? What are they putting in you to treat your blood from this, from this madness, man? Okay, but nonetheless, this is nothing but plagues from the Heavenly Father. Okay, so this is the book of Ezekiel 7. And I'm going to start at verses... 12, it says, it says, oh, matter of fact, let's start at verses 14. It says, they have blown the trumpet even to make all ready, but none go to the battle. For my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. And the trumpet is the, the prophecies, man, okay? The sound of war, the sound of alarm, okay? We're blowing the trumpet to compel Jake to get right with the heavenly father. But we only know that only a remnant would turn, return back into the heavenly father, okay? We knew that two thirds of our people, they're not going to repent. Nor are they going to give credit to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, but yet they believe in their own belly. And it's the reason why the two thirds of our people have to be destroyed. Okay. It says here, uh, it says, Benign go into the battle, for my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. But the sword is without, and a pestilence and a famine within. And he that is in the field should die with the sword. And he that is in the city, famine and pestilence should devour him. Okay. Now, when you go into this word pestilence, okay. So the word the bar, which means peasants, plague, cattle disease, cattle plague. Okay, but we understand that the plagues and the diseases are that which is prophesied to come upon the planet Earth. Why? Because this is the time of the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh judgment. Okay, so all throughout the scriptures, you read about plagues, you read about pestilence. Okay, you go to parts of uh, I forgot what part of the world that's in, but um, basically they showed you that a particular algae entered into the water, into the river, and the rivers turned blood red, man. You know, which proves that we're in the time of, of, of Egypt again. OK, because though America is known as modern day Egypt, spiritual Sodom in Egypt and all the plagues that plague ancient Egypt is set to plague Babylon the Great. These particular plagues are plaguing the entire world. Why? Because the so-called white men, which are the biblical Idumians, the Edomites, they're in power. OK, they're uh, uh, the conjecture to all this wickedness that's happening on the planet Earth. You see? And that's why it says here, uh, the sword is without and a pestilence that is within and a famine within. He that is in the field should die by the sword. OK, because we know the field represents the world and better yet the countrysides. OK, because you're going to have a lot of people 
that's going to try to run to the country in order to escape hell, to escape the destruction, to escape the martial law. OK, the, the marauders, as we like to call them. <laughs> OK, but it says. Uh, uh, Shaddai the sword and he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. OK, so if you locked in the cities, then basically there's no hope. OK, because we know that the cities are going to be ground zero. Number one, there's going to be ground zero. This is where the most crime, the most death, the most judgment. OK, this is where the martial law troops are going to occupy. This is where the gangs are going to occupy. And the cities are just going to go up and smoke, man. Like they showed us in that movie, The First Purge. The cities are going to be on fire. OK, and they're going to have to bring in a military to bring order out of chaos, man. And all the dead that's going to be out, that's going to cause more pestilence, more sickness, more plagues. Because for the simple fact, when people die, okay, and they have diseases in their body, that shit becomes airborne. And before you know it, you know, you're breathing it in. And before you know it, you're becoming sick, you're becoming contaminated. And then all of a sudden, you know, you fall ill to the said virus. And it says, but they should, it says, but they that escape of them should escape and shall be on the mountains like doves of the valleys. All of the morning, everyone in his iniquity. And so like you, brothers, man, I'm experiencing uh, a little brain fog right now because I'm actually doing this heavy metal detox. Um, I actually bought this machine that the brothers had recommended to detox these heavy metals out of our bloodstream because we're infested with them. So um, I'm experiencing a little, 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 uh, uh, what they call a brain fog. So I'm a little, little off a little bit, but slack it, you know. And I'm actually saying if this thing really works. You know, I'm hearing reports that it don't work, but then again, you know, the elders and the apostles, they may claim that this thing does work because what happens is, and Salaki, I'm off topic, but what happens is they prefer you to use tap water, which in my opinion, that would be a cleverly devised scheme because we know tap water is impure. So you put these uh, lower grade metal ionizers in the water and what happens is it creates an electric conducive or electric current in the water, which causes the uh, silver to, to activate, which draws particular uh, toxins out of the body and it promotes like body healing and like digestion allegedly. Okay, so the water turns brown and all this murky color because you know it's detoxing you but also because this shows you what the water really looks like. Okay, now it's kind of weird because it's like, okay, why can't we use spring water, tap water? It's because it's not highly conducive because those waters are pretty much depleted of minerals versus the tap water have all types of shit in it. So you're able to get a good current through these waters, you know. And uh, that's how, that's what it boils down to. And I'm feeling it now, you know. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, um, you know, it appears to be working. So we'll see. So I got a little brain fog, you know, and when you do detoxes and stuff like that, when your body or your lymphatic system is cleaning all the toxins out, then basically, you know, you see, uh, you know, you feel a difference. You know, but anyway, uh, it says here, but they that escape of them should escape and should be on the mountains like doves or the valleys out of the morning. Everyone in for his iniquity and all hands should be feeble and all knees should be weak as water. And they shall also gird themselves with sackcloth and horse should cover them and shame should be upon all faces and baldness upon all heads, man. OK, because the amount of death that's coming to America is going to be unfathomable, man. OK, um, like it was. Where's that place? Um, I was just watching it earlier. And that shows you that we're full of heavy metals because my mind literally is like sometimes I experience short time memory loss, man. Because we're so uh, uh, we're overly stressed out by all the shit in life and the toxins. So I've been forgetting a lot of shit. And my memory is, is I have like a photographic memory. I can remember shit from years ago. But for whatever reason, man, if I watch something 10 minutes ago, I can't seem to remember. And that's not a good sign. You know, which shows that we have to detox these bodies. But uh, anyway, uh, let me find it real quick. The brother Karataza was looking at it, but let me do it this way. Yeah, uh, Havana. They call it like the Havana syndrome. And basically Esau was releasing these frequencies into the air. OK, and October 4th, we don't know what's going to happen that day. You know, who knows? On your how about how Shah really knows, but you know, allegedly, you know, they do release these particular signals into the phone, then allegedly people are gonna have some type of current that's gonna go through. We don't know, we just have to wait and see. But overall, from the spirit and power, you how about shy, mass death is coming to America, man. Okay, 
It's coming in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai told us to prepare ourselves because, you know, we're in the time of the plagues, man. All right. Uh, this is the book of Exodus. Exodus. Uh, da, 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 da. You got different plagues of locusts. So I'm going to get straight to the point. Plagues of Egypt. Bam. Yep, plagues of Egypt, and then it gives you here like the gnats, which is Exodus 8 and 16 through 19, and the flies 20 through 32, which is pretty much what we're reading in the article. All right, so this is the book of Exodus 8, and I'm going to start at verse 16. It's called the plague of insects, and it says, And Yahweh said unto Moses, Say unto Aaron, Stretch out thy rod and smite the dust of the land, that it may become lice throughout all the lands of Egypt, because we know a lot of bugs come from the dust, from the dirt. All right. And it says, and they did so. And from Aaron stretched out his hand with his rod and smote the dust of the earth. And it became lice in man and in beasts and all the dust of the land became lice throughout all the land of Egypt. So this is a plague, man. OK, like all these bugs, like I mentioned, the gnats and so forth. Those are all particular plagues that the Lord has struck in Babylon with, man. You know, and it says here, all the magicians did so with their enchantments to bring forth the life, which shows you that on the left hand side, there is power as well. OK, and what we're experiencing now is the left hand at full swing mode and they're turning up. Why well, it seems like the right hand is slowly turning up. But through the spirit, we on high. But the left hand is literally elevating over the right right now. So that has to be a balance to bring a, a, a even playing field because the Lord don't raise up the standard. We out of here, man. You know, but the Lord ain't going to allow that to happen. And it reads. And it says here and the magicians did so with their enchantments to bring forth life, lice. But they could not, so there was lice upon man and upon beasts. And the magician said unto Pharaoh, This is the finger of the of the power. And Pharaoh's heart was hardened, and he likened, it says, and he hearkened not unto them as the Lord had said. And the Lord said unto Moses, Rise up early in the morning and stand before Pharaoh, and lo, he cometh forth to the water, and say unto him, Thus says Yahweh, let my people go, that they may serve me. Else would I not it says, Else if thou would not let my people go. Behold, I will send swarms of flies upon thee and upon thy servants and upon thy people and into thy houses and the houses of Egypt. Egyptians should be full of swarms of flies and also the ground where they are. OK, so that's the point. And right now we have plagues every goddamn where, man. The weather is jacked up. The animals are all out of whack. OK, the animals are literally bugging out, man, because the all frequencies like I believe the nature. Uh, I have to believe we're supposed to be like on a 432 hertz or some shit like that. I believe like we on 143 or something. Nature's like 432 or something. And I believe uh, uh, we're off like we're off. Like the frequencies are completely off, man. And uh, I could double check that real quick. What frequency is nature? 7.8. You got different opinions. Earth frequency is 432 hertz. OK, it says shows us a real time that the terrestrial frequency is about eight hertz. It says this would therefore be a mathematical relation with 432 hertz since eight hertz is a sub multiple of eight, 432 hertz for the ratio between frequency and octave music. But we're not functioning on this vibration because once again, when you go into your body and your cells and stuff like that, and when you go into like how your body, your body is on a frequency. So like cells are conducive to water. You know what I'm saying? In your body and eons and so forth. So when you have all frequencies, depending on what signals they emit to your body, your body will naturally be out of whack, out of sync. You know, hence causes cancer. Because like basically what causes cancer is because the cells are not in compliance with one another. You know, a live cells does not comprehend or does not commend dead cells. So when you have that going on in the body, the body creates an immune response. And before you know it, your ass gets sick and you can die from that shit because Esau Edom literally has fucked up the frequency, man. OK, that's why everybody is getting sick, man. OK, in the foods, etc., the clothes, it naturally lowers your vibration, you know, and it says here. Uh, and it says. And I will send swarms of flies upon thee and upon thy servants and upon thy people and into thy houses. And the houses of the Egyptians should be full of swarm of flies and also the ground wherein they are. And I will sever in that day the land of Goshen in which my people dwell 
that no swarms of flies should be left there in the end thou mayest know that i am the lord in the midst of the earth okay and that's the point the lord has created a division between the egyptians and the israelites man okay because we wasn't touched we wasn't hit by those plagues but this time the most high is going to exemplify the elect from judgment man okay we're going to be exempt from judgment but with the two-thirds, they're going to be left here to rot and be destroyed because they're basically, the Lord doesn't recognize them. You know, he recognized them as being a bunch of heathens, basically Egyptians. All right. Uh, this is my last precept. This is the book of Revelation 6. And I'm going to start at verses uh, 7. It says, and when he had opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, come and see. And I looked and behold, a pale horse and his name that set on him was death and hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with the sword. And with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth, okay? And the fourth part of the earth is the, is this, is the Americas, man. Okay, the Western Hemisphere, which Esau has priority, uh, uh, was has, was has the, the dominant factor over the planet Earth, man. You know what I'm saying? So he has control over the weather to some degree, okay? The particular frequencies, the substance, the food. He has control over all these things. So he's basically able to wreak havoc on the people because the power was given into his hand, man. Okay, so I'm gonna end it there, giving all praises and glory and honor that is due to you. How about Shimi? How was shy by Shimra Kakwadash? And with that, Shalom and a Baba Ball. Shalom.